there's a tranquility about this game that I'm yet to understand. However, it does look really nice. I like walking around the biomes and the areas and the things that kill you in two shots no matter how much stronger you get and then finding out they got extra abilities and stuff. But you know what? We're having fun and the series will continue because we're still having fun. And I can kill these big ass guys now in like three shots. How cool is that? Don't even know what they do, but they still die. Anyway, we're gonna roll intro. Hi there, welcome back to our Let's Play of Dark Souls. I'm your host, Yolte. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to that grassy area because I want to explore it a bit more. But uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna change out my long sword for my great sword and give that a go because how much damage does a well, let's see how about free does 143 and great sword does 130 present stats never mind okay so I, I can't use it yet Never mind. Um, so I think I need to get my strength up a bit. So we're gonna. We'll find something good. We'll just use the long sword plus one for now. Oh shit. We're good. Didn't sound safe at all. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to that grassy area. We're gonna kill some things that way. It'll be fun. Potentially. This thing goes badly. <laughs> the, the halberd seems like a good weapon. Because it is. Well, the problem is that the block capability is nigh. That's alright. I'm not supposed to go for the underground, it's just... Instead of going for there, it's actually... Oh crap! You got you there, sorry. I upgraded Firelink Shrines with my humanity, so I'm actually human at the moment, if I remember correctly. Tune magic. Okay, so what I need for attunement slot probably um I'll look at the skill. That's probably the one that's like probably intelligence and faith. I need to level up to something. Anyway, let's run past this guy, as we've done before. And make our way through this other ball-ridden place. Considering that the enemies are too shottable here, and not ghosts. I'll be going to be more interesting for you guys to watch anyway. And say, Unless you guys want to watch me fail more often. I'd oblige. Or would I? So yeah, I'm gonna try to make my way through this place. If it's too soon, that's okay. I'll figure, I'll find out because I can't get through. But it feels weird having a place I can go through that's impossible. Sorry, that on a dragon, but that didn't go well last time.
crap. I don't know how far it is to a bonfire in this place anyway. It seems the game's gonna send me back. dodging this armor. I'm wondering if that's going to be a problem later. See, a big part of this game isn't so much dodging, it's not getting hit at all. And I just can't do that very well. The last time I came through here, I did make it past most of these things. By following the lights. Can't hit those. You can't hit him when he's standing up. Got it. Switch to this. So I don't know what I'm up against, and we'll try it with full health. Probably got me a boss. Oh crap! Hi. What do you do? Green beams of energy. I just arrows. Need a bow here. Oh crap. And you do lasers too. That hurt it. But I'm dead. Free arrows and a bow. How much are arrows? You only get large arrows. Cost. 
50. I'll be seeing you there. If I clear out the guys around the parish, I should have at least 200. I'm trying to do some mass here. I think I'll need at least 100 arrows. Didn't say it was good maths. Ten minutes in, I'm like, I can't hit this thing. But I want to find out what's past it. Got him. Can we use that soul the fire keeper incorrectly? Well, I can. But kind of sucks that I did. So it can go the wrong way and just goes badly for you. Oh, he just died. It wasn't even close. Trying moves at the moment. Um, so we got fire bombs and arrows. That's an interesting boss. And it felt easier than the gargoyles, but not too easy. I figured out it would be boss, but it's like, oh, where is it? Give it a go on this episode, and if it doesn't work out, I'll grind for more some more souls, and we'll try again. someone thinking you know those undead guys are easier than what you're about to do like yeah but are they that why did I notice that pretty free should be okay 
get yourself killed. Neither of them. I'll upgrade it. Well, you need anything? I'll be seeing you there. Right, I could, but I can't right now. Um. Okay, this guy's just a master of lightning. His range is better than mine. Also now I need 20,000 souls. Which is going to be rough, considering I've got 100. And that opens that door. If I kill the boss, it might bring me... Oh! Maybe that boss area brings me back around to it? Opens that door. That makes sense. Not too much sense, really. I don't think it's that. How do I get up there? I don't really look down much. Or ran. It kind of just ran through here. This is gonna hurt. I wish I had that plus on there. Starts over, let's play, just get the plus on his thingy. Most people do this with no hit, so I guess it's not too bad, but it's kind of rough that I don't have it. One of those things that you don't need, but it's helpful to have. Like, I don't know. Stuff. Also, I know there's a merchant for firebombs as well, it's just finding them is a pain in the ass. Without just stabbing him in the leg works. They get 600 souls each. So we got the bow. We got the firebomb. There was one health bar per firebomb and... I might just make it so that my... Firebomb and SS flask are the only things I got. Wait, what? It follows you?
One more hit and I die. Get used to this. That does hurt it. Only a little bit. But that one shots me. With 2,000 souls. Huh. Alright, I guess we'll see you on the next episode.